Kitten, stop trying to eat my notebook. Thank you for joining Hiking with Fur Flurf. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, we are here at the uh, North Country Trail. Well, it's backwards. <laughs> Everything's opposite. Okay, well, whatever. We're here at the uh, North Country Trail, which is uh, very unceremoniously the uh, trailhead for the Finger Lakes Trail, which is, um, well, uh, going to be one of my goals uh, to do the Finger Lakes Trail. Um, I am not quitting the Buckeye Trail. Uh, I'm definitely not going to quit. I'm going to complete the little loop, but I need to put that on the back burner uh, until it can be more financially reasonable. Um, the Finger Lakes Trail, this it's 45 minutes from my house um, and then gets closer up to uh, about a half hour away uh, for quite some distance actually. It's about a half hour away only. And um, Oh, crap, I have to start my uh, all trails up and all that stuff. Hang on. Okie dokie, got that one started up. Let's work on the Garmin now. There we go. Okie dokie. Um, so you can see my throat. Uh, my glands are still a little bit swollen. I'm still a little sick, still trying to get over it, but I'm just sitting on the couch. I, I pack on the weight very, very easily, I have noticed. Oh, did I just feel a raindrop? It's not supposed to rain for days. That's crazy. Well, I guess actually I am technically in Pennsylvania for the next mile. Ooh, here's a trail register. Let me do this. There. I got the trail register all signed. I enjoy doing that. It just, it, it brings me... It was a stupid amount of joy. It's it's very fun. Still got grumpy with me. Um, got my pack. Um, let me see if I can get the sleeping bag down there. Yep. All set up for, um, I guess what considered to be technically five days. Um, food and water still, uh, like I had been doing when I was uh, hiking with the kids. <coughs> but I'm just gonna do an out and back. Um, it's after two o'clock already today. Um, again, I'm not feeling well. I'm, it's, it's, yeah, they're yellow, sticky, nasty tasting boogers. It's just, it's awful. And Adam's getting it and, oh, some berries. Well, they're all, they're all eaten, but there's berries here too. I love that. I absolutely love that. Let me turn the camera on. I forget you guys are staring at not why. There we go. It's not why you're watching this, not to look at me. It's for the scenery. The peacefulness, the calmness, the relaxation. And if I can do this type of stuff, I mean, if I can go out and through hike with 50 pounds for, what was it, 15 days, my first stretch, nearly anybody can do this. Because in January, I could not even do a mile. This is beautiful. Sounds like it's raining. I believe we start the, the hike off here with a little bit of hill. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do sections of the, the Finger Lakes. I'm gonna section hike at Finger Lakes Trail. To uh, areas where are convenient to drop me off and pick me up and then drop me back off again. Yeah, being sick has uh, weakened me quite a bit, and I'm not very used to having uh, quite so much weight on my back. I got very spoiled with my slack packing in the uh, single day of supplies in my bag moving up to five days of food plus the clothes and a few other items is it's a, it's a difference it's a difference but 
I would say it's probably under 40 pounds. Or maybe right at 40 pounds with the, uh, with the water. But okay, um, just going to go out probably about three, maybe four miles, maybe five. We'll see how my calves feel right now. They're telling me to stop, <laughs> which I'm not going to do, but <coughs> we'll see how I feel and um, how much uh, yellow stuff comes up out of my lungs from being out here in the woods. It's always very healing to do this. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Look at these beauties. It's a barely running stream, but look at these guys are gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Barely running creek. Nice rocks, though. Nice rocks. About a third of a mile in. Very well blazed trail. Very well blazed. I'm not sure if the phone is going to do this area justice or not. But it's been 0.9 miles. We're almost to the New York PA border. And it has been all uphill. All uphill the whole time. Not necessarily steep, just, you know, non stop. <laughs> Ooh, it's kicking my butt since I've been couching it so much trying to get over a sinus infection or whatever it is. Adam literally just started feeling like crap this morning. Poor guy. So he finally caught it. Or, well, caught it a while ago and incubated in him for a long time compared to me. Whew. But... Yeah, we're still going up. <sighs> Let you know when we get to the New York PA border. <laughs> there might not even be a sign knowing these guys. Well, would you look at that? They do. A little party. 1.1 miles in. Somebody carved off York. Check it out. These little bitty orange mushrooms. They're peach. Man, I really didn't need to get out here so badly. I really did. I've just been in kind of a funk being sick because I don't want to be sick. I want to be able to be out hiking and stuff and a little bit of in a funk about not having enough money to be able to stay and finish up the, the little loop. But it is what it is and it will get done in its own time. Um, and if I really wanted to put forth more effort into doing some sort of fundraising, I probably could, but I kind of feel like a jackass for asking for money for hiking when there's so many people out there who are legit, like, legit hungry. So, I don't know. I've had people suggest that I do, uh, like, a GoFundMe or something for 
my uh, hiking for mental health awareness because I want to get some t-shirts made up and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I have an idea for stickers, but I doubt that's ever going to happen. Um, I don't know. I just want to spread the word about nature is healing and uh, make sure that everybody, everybody is well aware of the resources that are out there if they're in need of it or the severe lack there of resources that are out there for those who can help do something about it and make a difference. I have to pick myself a, a charity, a specific charity or foundation. Um, so that's going to be my next step is, is finding out exactly which charity or foundation I want to align myself with and associate with. So that'll be quite a bit of research, knowing myself. <laughs> Very beautiful trail. I'm uh, almost to the point where I have to turn around because um, I have to get back home by a certain time for uh, my dear Adam today. He's got something he's got to do. Uh, he rarely ever has anything that he needs to do, so I, I totally don't mind when he does. But I don't want to be late and be a jackass. So, ow, oh, angle. <laughs> so, I, uh, Go a little bit further here. I'm uh, definitely going faster than I was. I finally made it to the top of the hill. Oh, God, that hill. It was a mile long, a mile uphill. I've never done a one mile uphill before, I do not believe. I think that was the first. Oh, and I'm seeing a lot of these guys. I'm looking for fly agaris. Um, saw one the other day. Knew I should have picked it up, but I didn't. I just I don't, I don't trust myself. But I, d I did more research, and there really is another nothing else that looks quite exactly like that does. So beautiful orange one, beautiful orange one. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mushroom hunting while I'm out hiking for my oldest daughter, my uh, 20 year old, very soon to be 21. No, I'm supposed to be taking a photo. Okay, boy, I tell you what, a mile up and a mile down, <laughs> this is my new uh, training route. That's for absolutely sure. Wish this was a little bit closer to home, but it's not that far. Um, I actually went two miles exactly um, and turned around. Uh, it's this interesting little divot or culvert right in the middle of the trail it's where I turned around at, um, right at a blaze. But, uh, whoo, my uh, hip flexors, they are feeling this going down this hill. That's for sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to use this as my training run. Uh, two miles up, two miles down. Um, but the, the one mile hill, 1.1 <laughs> actually, 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, it's, a, it's a good hill, very good hill. It's not too steep, but it's it's continuous. So it's, it's absolutely perfect. And until I can... Uh, up my time. I, I don't know. I'm not, not ready to set a goal yet for a time goal for my training runs. Um, walk, training, hike. <laughs> uh, but I think I have a little over a half mile left to get to the bottom to the car. Um, seeing some a couple extra uh, mushroom formations that I hadn't seen uh, on the way up. I got pictures of those. I thought those were pretty cool. I don't know. I, I can't stand eating mushrooms. I think they're gross. They smell nasty. Yada yada, all that. But they're absolutely beautiful. Fungus and the mycelia network that they use to communicate with the entire forest is just absolutely unbelievable. That they uh, use a network that's very much like our uh, the network in our human brain. But this is an amazingly marked, uh, amazingly marked trail. Um, so I don't know, um, I'll probably just throw this in with one of the other, uh, short videos that I have 
until I start doing more um, miles again after uh, <clears throat> being sick, still being sick. Oh, there's some raindrops again. It just seems to be raining down at this spot down here in the in the valley. As soon as I got up there further on the hill, it wasn't raining, but it's just sprinkling again on me. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I'm just going to throw this in with one of the other short videos. And uh, um, hopefully I can start doing some more miles soon. Part of the short miles is my stubbornness to uh, not take any of this weight out of my pack. Because if anything, I'll have more weight. I'll have uh, three more AA batteries. I, oh yeah, yeah, I realized I bought all AAAs. I didn't get any AA batteries, and I thought I bought a package of each. But apparently both packs are, are AAA batteries, so... Because there's no doublies in any of my resupply boxes, which is just fucking weird. But in, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with me? So I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day. Do something kind for a stranger today. Tell them to pass it along. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, it is sticky out. I have the, the there she is, the baby bear. Hi, the baby bear with us. Yeah, I just put my hair up. I really don't care. It is just too sticky out. It wasn't supposed to be quite this warm um, as far as down here in the uh, Allegheny National Forest where the uh, Finger Lakes Trail starts. We are just getting some pictures of some really amazing mothers. This guy right here. It's got some fuzzy, fuzzy yellow stuff on top. Nyla's got a mushroom app and she's looking them up. And then there's some Indian pipes or ghost flower. And we've never seen ones with pink in them before. These are absolutely beautiful. They look like, like little bombs. Like they're trying to trick you into touching them and setting them off with their pretty pink and yellowness. Looking like a flower, but they're not a flower. <laughs> Was that? Ah, she's looking up in her uh, her app. Oh, there's these guys right here too. There was a lot of mushrooms today because it rained last night. Down here, it looks like definitely looks like. Hopefully, there's not a lot of ticks out here. Let me check my shins. I see a couple of little black dots. That's a little yellow bug. Okay, everything's fine. Ugh. Last time I was here, I found a single tick on myself just as I was exiting the forest, right where we entered. Um, it was uh, just sitting on my shin. I just scraped it off. It hadn't bit me yet, thankfully. I'm getting very lucky. They probably don't like the taste of the bug spray I have all over me, but are so hungry they're trying to overcome it. But yeah, it's very beautiful out here, and we are almost up to the official Finger Lakes Trailhead where the registry is a mile up in. Um, and we are going nine miles to where this trail crosses uh, Coon Run Road inside of Allegheny State Park. And that is where Adam is going to be getting us in a few hours. And hopefully I will have service up here on top of the hill so I can message him and let him know when we will be there. If not, he's just going to have to guess. And well... You know, he's a wonderful, sweet guy, but you know how men are when it comes to putting forth wholehearted effort to something so small as to, uh, oh, that looks like a chewed on potato. It does. It looks like a potato. It's been chewed on. So, okay, we will talk to you when we get up there.
That is a Crayola red mushroom right there. That's awesome. Hello, little buddy. I doubt he wants an ice chip. I'm sure he's comfy on this nice, cool rock. They like the heat anyways. So this is strange. Uh, this guy is growing upside down. He is attached firmly. And still very much alive and growing upside down. Never seen that before. Tons of these little guys here. About, uh, I'd say 1.2 miles in. Just tons of them everywhere. So pretty. And the picture's probably sideways now. <laughs> We are about 3.5 miles in, and we just came across this gorgeous little snail here who looks like he's been chomping on this mushroom. Hi there, buddy. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. We saw a couple other snails today, too, which is kind of neat. Um, we actually found ourselves a fly agaric, which we are very excited about. Um, we're going to spore print it and everything. We're going to make absolutely certain that it is what we think it is. Um, we're also looking to see if we can't find any uh, chanterelle if they grow around here. If anybody knows that if they do or not, you can let us know. We're in the, the western side, northwest uh, side of the Allegheny National Forest, and the southwest side of mm, excuse me, hiccups, the Allegheny State Park. Mm. Heat's getting to me, <laughs> starting to hiccup. Um, but yeah, we're about a third of the way through, and we are having a blast. We're absolutely loving it. We're starting to come into some sections of muddy spots, but it seems pretty easy to get around them for the most part. I only have a little bit of mud up the one side of one of my shoes, so it's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah, it is a very rugged trail. I wouldn't say it's hard, but it's definitely not easy, especially starting with uh, one miles uphill. 1.1 <laughs> uphill to the official trailhead start. But the baby bear behind me is doing great. We're not rushing. We're just taking our time looking at every mushroom that we see, identifying lots of them. The majority of them, ooh, like this one. It's pretty cool. And she's been snacking. Oh, taking pictures of herself eating granola. My beautiful young lady. Can't believe I created such a beautiful little Selena Gomez copy. You throw 40 extra pounds on this girl right here, she looks exactly like Selena Gomez. Did you say 40 extra pounds? Yeah, yeah. That's 25. 25? Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, I don't know exactly how much you weighed when you were heavier and how much you weigh now. Like 125, maybe 130. Yeah, yeah, I'm about 130 also. There's something that's odd about us. We look like we weigh 90 pounds soaking wet, but we don't. We're like actually 130 pounds because we're just solid muscle. We just have really no fat on us at all whatsoever. Looks like chillax on the couch. Yeah, yeah, there's the whole chillaxing on the couch for the entire week, which does, you know, add a little layer to my tummy. I can see the difference um, when it comes to my eight pack. <laughs> But uh, I need it. I, I need those days of just sitting and shoving the calories and, and carbs into my mouth and gaining as much weight as I possibly can. i got to do that or else I wouldn't be able to do this at all. But today is the first day of doing the 100-mile walk for the American Cancer Society. Um, this is going to be the first nine miles, I believe of that 100 that I want to do. It's a 100 miles in August challenge. 
that the American Cancer Society is doing. Um, and if you want to donate it all to the American Cancer Society um, for the research that they do for you know cancer research and the help they do with patients and stuff, um, I can see if I'll... Yeah, I think I can post a link in the description. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. <laughs> That's not that difficult. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we will talk to you guys in a bit when we find something pretty. Naya just said exactly what I was thinking. This feels just like Great Grandma's Creek. That tree just needed to be moved is all. And it would be pretty much Great Grandma's Creek. It's beautiful, all these rocks. I remember how vastly the creek changed over my lifetime. I wonder what it looks like now. What's it, would you find? Oh, cool. Yeah, actually I can. Beautiful mushrooms. Very, very nice. I'm going to give a shout out to Ultra for my shoes. I love them. Thank you very much, Pep Pep. My daddy. Man, my daddy bought me some shoes. <laughs> Stick in the trail. Nyla has been doing trail maintenance with me, getting all the, the big, bigger stuff out of the trail. But yeah, these these things are just absolutely amazing. I I love them. I absolutely love them. I have to start tagging Ultra in my videos because I thank them so much about these shoes. How I should tag my father. <laughs> Those are the red flowers, like oh. we saw at the oh that other creek. Yeah, there is a lot of them. There's a lot of mosquitoes here, too. Oh, they found us. What is this, a tomato? What is that? Looks like a tomato. I think something's been trying to eat it, too. I don't know. That's weird. Ah, run from the mosquitoes! Run! Oh, you have a single leaf clinging to your backpack. A single leaf is hanging on. Is it my friend? It's just hanging there by nothing. Nothing was holding on to it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, it is. This is absolutely gorgeous. I would wash my hair in this creek. Just lovely. Just so you guys know that noise that you hear, it's my ashtray, is what it is, that clanking all the time, kind of like a bear bell. <laughs> Go girl. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. They do? That one doesn't have any bugs in it. Oh. Nice. It is. At least somebody's been through here right? and pushed the stuff back a little bit. Yeah, when stuff starts to encroach on the trail. 
a bit. Just push it back. So it's just a little easier for the next person to walk through and hopefully they notice and they follow suit and push stuff back as well. Only on the trail itself, not stomping things growing in the woods. There are a lot of wildflowers through here. And then the trail's much wider. <sighs> we got street signs in the woods. Trail goes this way to Mount Tuscara. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the photo does not do it justice at all. You can't even really see all that moss on top of that log. Even though the photo makes it greener. Pretty rough little single track we've been on here for a while. It's fun, but I'm enjoying it. Ignaya's a little worn out. We're a little sweaty. It's a woodpecker packed tree if I ever did see one. There's a lot of these strange dead plants all over. Something's killing off the certain plants here and there. Oh. Oop, a stick attack. Stick attack. We did find a wild chapstick. I told Naya not to approach it, but she did. She did not get bit. It did not bite her. She ended up picking it up. Yes, we picked up the litter is what we did. But yes, careful when approaching wild chapsticks in the forest when you find them. Especially if they're close to the trail. It might be a trap. <laughs> More mushrooms over here. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the shelters. Tracy's cabin or something, or... Let's see, what do we got here? It should say right on it. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Which, do you know, which shelter is this? What's the name of this one? Do you know? Oh, okay. Offhand. Isn't this Tracy's or something? Oh. Willis Creek, maybe? Oh, yeah. This is Willis Creek. Yes. Oh, there's even pots and pans and stuff. Wow. Um, nice. Definitely consult. Came to a very pretty spot in the trail. Wee! 
Oh, there's a shaft of sunlight coming down over there. It's pretty. You can just barely see it in the camera. The claw. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet. That's really fucking cool. That is really fucking cool. The tree has a dick. <laughs> I didn't say that.